Chanel, my name is Wodo. I want to say thank you to all the people that bought coffee for me. Yes, a special thank you to the people that bought coffee for me. When I mention coffee, you know what I mean. Um, and also say thank you to all of my subscribers. My name is Wolo. I love to share information about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada and everything useful. This week is a pressure filled week, but I am super excited because something is going to happen this week. Yay! Don't worry. <laughs> I'm super excited for this week because I've received lots of beautiful news, lots of good news. People who applied for study permits got their study permits approved. People's visas have come in. People have gotten job offers and all that. I share information about immigrating to Canada. So if you're new to my channel, maybe you should check all of my old videos. And I also request that you subscribe to this channel so that anytime I upload a video, you'll be amongst the first group of people to see the videos. And yeah, so I'm just super excited this week, although it's a pressure filled week and like I have so many things, so many deadlines and so many emails. Yes, so many emails that I have to respond to. But please bear with me. I will try to respond to all the emails by weekend. Yes, please bear with me. I need the coffee energy to just keep going and all that. So yeah. Today's topic is not immigration related. It actually has to do with um, life in Canada. And um, some days ago, I was talking to my colleague and I was just looking at the tax brackets in different provinces. Yeah, so this period, this tax season, if you're, if you're new to Canada, if you came to Canada between January 1st of 2019 and December 2019, you better file your taxes because you are required to file your taxes if you earn any income from Canada. So this is the period to start filing taxes and people have been getting their refunds and all that. So just go file your taxes. There are different community centers where you can file your taxes for free and you don't need to pay um, maybe HR block or Liberty Tax Services to file your taxes. There are so many community centers all around Canada where you can file your taxes for free. So that's by the way. So I was gisting with my colleague. Is a gist today's video is for gisting. <laughs> I was gisting with my colleague and I was like telling him that the tax bracket in different provinces just kind of um, highlights what people take home after taxes are deducted. So far, um, only Alberta has the lowest tax bracket for people who earn between zero dollars and hundred and ten thousand dollars there about i don't have the correct figure i'll be putting it on the screen so that you can see the bracket for people who are earning that amount of money what is actually deducted from their earnings um, and what they take home is more than people who work in other provinces and um and it's kind of discouraging for those of us who live in some provinces like Manitoba. I'm not discouraging you, but you know, when you work and they tell you your gross pay is $100,000 and then at the end of the day, 40% of your gross pay goes for taxes and what you're getting back is like 60%. You just start, you know, getting upset that you're working so much and working so hard to earn so much money and yet at the end of the day what enters your pocket is just about 60 percent of your gross uh, income so i was just just sitting with my colleague and asking him was what's the need of you know working too hard and earning so much money what's what's really in for us because canada is a country that take cutters for every of its citizens whether rich or poor and this is done by the taxes that are deducted from your salaries and the taxes you pay when you buy some items. So based on that, it's looking like the more money you earn in Canada, the, the more taxes you pay. And at the end of the day, you are not motivated or people do not get motivated to even earn more because if you aim to earn more money, just know that you'll be paying about 50% taxes on the more money you earn. It is a system or a society that is more or less favorable to people who are more or less on welfare because that's the way I see it. It's my own opinion anyway. You might have your own opinion, but this is my own opinion because I feel that a lot of people who are on welfare are more or less better off 
even if they are not earning money they are more or less better than the people that who are working and so you find lots of people you know instead of working wanting to remain on welfare remain on benefits because they give they receive free housing they receive free health care they receive some stipends and all that and you you're working yourself out you're going to work in the cold you are more like paying so much bills to live a standard lifestyle for yourself and at the end of the day when you're earning hundred thousand dollars in gross income what you're taking home after all the deductions is about sixty thousand dollars in net income so i just like started asking myself what's the purpose of all this you know but um i at the end of the day i just thought about it and decided it's better to like earn more money and be more comfortable and have enough disposable income than um you know not earning more money although it's quite discouraging that the more money you earn the more taxes um being deducted from your salary or your earnings but it's still okay it's still more or less better off than you know nothing at all because these are the monies that goes to fund some of the social benefits that we receive and another thing i also like to mention here is that the more money you earn in canada the less benefits you receive so for people who have kids um, for a family husband wife with two children let's say the combined gross income of the spouse both partners husband and wife it's about let's say two hundred thousand dollars and if they have a net income of about let's say one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for those group of people who are earning as much as that they might end up not even getting any benefit from the government at all for people who earn lower than that they can get their children's benefit which is the ccb they can get some other benefits but for people who earn more money, they are not getting any benefits. Instead, sometimes they might even be owing more taxes to the government and they have to pay back those taxes so that it doesn't compound in interest. So it's very interesting living in Canada, especially for those of us coming from Africa, where we do not even know what goes on with our taxes and all that. We do not really care. But when you come to Canada and you start earning so much money, you, you realize that half of that money goes into taxes and goes into CPP, EI and so many other things. And at the end of the day, what you get is just half. So if you see anybody saying, oh, I'm earning $100,000 in Canada, just know that the person's take home pay at the end of the day is about $60,000 or $55,000. $40,000 goes straight to taxes and then the remaining money is left for the person to manage. So um, it's not to discourage you, but this is how it is for most developed countries because it is the taxes that they deduct from people's earnings that they use to fund the social services that we have, um, the free medical, I would say free, would I say free, the 80% free medical services that we have in Canada compared to the US. So for people living in the US, they have more disposable income compared to people living in Canada. And that's because the US is a capitalist society and they do not have the free medical benefits that those of us in Canada enjoy. So if you are living in the US, you will be paying from your pocket, except you're working in a company that has health insurance, and then you'll be um, under the healthcare insurance and you don't, you don't need to pay from your pocket. But when you're living in Canada, you don't pay anything from your pocket when you visit the medical doctor, except in certain cases that uh, requires you to pay for prescription drugs and maybe your dental, your vision and stuff like that. So that's where half of your money goes to in terms of funding all this free education, free medical and some other social uh, benefits for the residents of Canada. So for anybody planning to immigrate to Canada, just have this at the back of your mind. If your target is to uh, make more money in Canada, uh, newsflash, your, the more money you make, the more taxes that will be deducted from your salary. So just get yourself prepared, prepare your mind. For business people, they don't really face the same situation we face because they can write off so many things um, when filing their taxes. Um, they can claim so many things as expenses on their um, on their return when they are filing their taxes but for employees 
there is no way around it you just have to pay your taxes except you want to do um cash jobs for cash jobs people cannot track those kind of income but you don't know who the employer is so bottom line of what i'm trying to say is this the more money you earn in canada the more taxes you pay so that's the information i want to share today thank you so much for watching and uh, see you in my next video hopefully i'll be talking about immigration in my next video i don't know but see you in my next video Thank you so much for watching and see you. Bye-bye.